So if you can sit in a, a, a comfortable position in a way that you're not going to fall asleep with, <laughs> okay, yeah. and I want you to just close your eyes if you can, concentrate your, your intention to the, the third eye area, that point that's in between the two eyebrows and above the bridge of the nose. Just become still for a moment. And this meditation is going, is going to make you experience what I call meta-concert, which is working together in a meditative state as a group, as one. I want you to imagine certain things, but if you can't imagine or can't visualize these things, just say them in your, you know, in your, um, your mind's voice, in a spoken way, to give you the same results. If we, if, we, if we say them silently, we gain the same intentive uh, energy as what we would do if we visualized it. So mentally saying something is equal to visualizing. Okay? So if you can't visualize what I'm, what I'm talking about, or what I'm suggesting, Use the words to create the same level of intention. And when you create intention, you will follow exactly the same way as those who are using visual intention. Okay. So, I want you to imagine that you're in a corridor. And at the end of the corridor, there's a door. Walk down towards that corridor and open the door. And in that door, <coughs> there are three chairs. In the centre chair, I am sitting in. I am sitting in the centre chair. There's a chair to the left and to the right of me. Now it doesn't matter how many people are here, but just imagine that you're walking up to me and you either sit down in the left chair or the right chair, it doesn't matter. And that you take my right hand with your left hand, or you take my left hand with your right hand. So I want you to all just walk into that room, it's a nice white room, turn around, close the door, and take either my left hand or my right hand. This visualization of holding my hand gives you an energetic connect connection with me. You have a desire to be with me. It doesn't matter how many people sit on the left hand chair or the right hand chair. You're all overlaid upon each other. You occupy the same space without interfering with each other at all. We are separate but together. We are separately together. And now, I want you to imagine that from these chairs, either side of me, there grows a chain of chairs with people on people on these chairs, of the individuals in this meditation right now. And that these people are in a chain, so that everybody's got somebody holding their left hand, and everybody's got somebody holding their right hand. So all of a sudden, we're in a circle, where everybody's linked together through everybody else. Somebody's got, to hold, somebody's got somebody holding their left hand and somebody's got somebody holding their right hand. And that somebody else is holding my left hand and that somebody else is holding my left hand. So 
most I stand at one point with people in my left hand and somebody in my right hand. Now I want you to imagine me moving out of that circle and the circle closing. So the gap that is created by me moving out of the circle in towards the centre of the circle is closed by the person whose left hand was holding my right hand is now in contact with the person whose right hand was holding my left hand. So the circle closes with everybody in the circle. Now I move my chair into the centre of this circle. And I want you to each imagine that you're sending out an energetic link, a silver cord, or a spoke, for instance, from you to me, so that you all can see me. Imagine yourself seeing me, and a spoke or a cord, or an energy line coming directly from you to me. So when you look around, you see all the people that are in the circle around me have a silvery line going from them to me. We have formed a wheel. You are the rim of the wheel, I am the hub of the wheel. You are connected to me. And in being connected to me, you are also connected to everybody else, because I am connected to each of you. So rather than being separate now, being connected to one person on our right, and one person on our left, but prior to that just being connected to one side of me, you are now in contact with me directly, and everybody else indirectly through me. So with me in the centre of the hub, everybody is connected to everybody else through me. There is no separation in this instance because we are all connected together through this centre point. We are no longer separate, we are together. Separately, we are a number. Together, we are a multiple of that number, based upon that number. So if there's 14 of us, there's 14 times 14. This multiple is a synergetic effect of working together as one. Working together in concert, in meta-concert. Me being in the centre, I am the orchestrator. I'm the one in the centre who links you all together. So you're all in contact with me, and I'm all in contact with you, and you're in contact with each other through this hub in the centre. And now we are one. Now I want you to imagine that this wheel actually is the periphery of a circle the centre point, being myself, being the centre point of that circle. Now I want you to imagine that that circle is actually the periphery of a sphere. And that sphere is the energy associated with what we are working together. We are a sphere. We are all together as one sphere of energy. One sphere of collective, sentient, creative energy. In this creative condition, in this meta concert condition, this collective synergetic condition, in this multiple of our singular units, this multiple of our totality added together, we are powerful. We are manifold, that which we are. That which we can't do on our own, we can definitely do in meta concert, where we are multiple of the sum of the individual parts. 
Now as this sphere, I want you to expand your consciousness. And to expand our consciousness, we expand the size of the sphere. It goes beyond those individuals at the periphery of the circle that creates the sphere. The sphere becoming bigger than the room, engulfing the room. The sphere becoming bigger than the building that the room is in, engulfing the building. The sphere becoming bigger than the street or the suburb that the building is in, engulfing that street or suburb. Becoming bigger than the city that that street or suburb is in, engulfing that city. Stretching out and becoming bigger than the country that that city is in, engulfing that city and becoming bigger than the, the earth that that city is part of within a country. So we spread out from the city, going past the country, out to the earth. So our bubble, our sphere, is now engulfing the earth. We can go further though. We can expand our bubble beyond the solar system, and we do so with these. We expand our bubble beyond the galaxy, to the galaxy, and we, we engulf the galaxy with ease. We expand our sphere to encompass and engulf all of the galaxies within the universe. And in doing so, our bubble engulfs the universe, the physical universe. We are the physical universe. And we move further out. We expand ourselves out into the other aspects of the multiverse. We move beyond the first simultaneous universe, engulfing the tenth simultaneous universe as we move out. We imagine that each simultaneous universe is a sphere that's got a slightly larger diameter than the sphere before it. So we move out from the tenth simultaneous universe and engulf and go out further spreading ourselves out till we go to the hundredth simultaneous universe. So therefore within us is more than a hundred spheres. We go farther that hundred, we go to two hundred spheres. So there's two hundred spheres within us. We move even further out and there's three hundred spheres engulfed, engulfed within us. And we go further and we have four hundred spheres engulfed between us. And then finally, we move even further out and engulf the last eight spheres. They're all part of the frequency set that create those 397 simultaneous universes. So we, in essence, engulf the whole of that sphere, which is the multiverse. So as we stop here for a moment, and we are part of the multiverse. We are the multiverse, the multiverse is within us. We can look down, down beneath the transparent surface of this last simultaneous universe, looking down and seeing all the smaller spheres that get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller, each one of them representing a simultaneous universe, each one of them part of the, the multiverse. But as we are engulfed in the multiverse, we are the multiverse, and the multiverse is us. So for a moment, we'll just rest here, knowing that we are the multiverse, and therefore we are, in essence, half of that which is the source entity. We are a greater proportion of that which we were as a singular unit of the source. We are the source. Feel the bliss, feel the frequencies, feel the connectivity, feel the oneness as a result of being together and separate and creating synergy and becoming creative in a multiple sense.
to return to that which we are. So we shrink our consciousness and expansiveness down. Shrinking it down so we only engulf 300 of those universes. Shrinking it down even further so we only engulf 200 of those universes. The sphere getting smaller all the time. Shrinking it down to be only encompass 200 of those. And then shrinking it down even further so we only encompass 100 of those. Shrinking it down further so we only encompass 50 of those universes. And then shrinking it down so we only encompass 10 of those universes. And then shrinking it down even further so we only encompass the physical universe. Becoming the physical universe permanently. And then we shrink the sphere down even further, and so we only engulf or encompass the galaxy that our planet is in. And then we shrink it down further, so we only encompass or engulf the solar system that our planet is in. And then we shrink it down even further, so we only engulf the solar system that our planet is in. And then we shrink it down even further, so we only engulf the Earth itself. Then we shrink it down even further, and then we only engulf the country we are part of. And then we shrink it down even further, and we only engulf the city that we are part of. And then we shrink it down even further, and we only engulf the suburb of that city that we are part of. And then we shrink it down even further, and we only engulf the house that we are part of. And then we shrink it down even further, and we only engulf the house that we're part of. And then we shrink it down even further and we only engulf the room that we're part of. And then we shrink it down and we only engulf the room that we're part of. And then we shrink it down so we only engulf, engulf the room of that aspect of our perimeter that we're part of. And then we shrink it down so we only engulf ourselves and the sphere diminishes from being a sphere and becomes just a circle of individuals hand in hand together. And so now each of you removes your energy link, your line from the hub, from me, back into yourselves. So all that remains is myself in the centre and everybody else in a hand in hand circle around me. And now I move away from the centre and move back into the circle. Those individuals who parted away from me and recreated the circle, they part again, allowing me into the circle. And they hold my right hand with their left hand and or they hold my left hand with their right hand. And then the circle starts to diminish and those in the circle start to go back to that, that chair either to the left of me or to the right of me becoming only on my right hand side or only on my left hand side holding either my left hand or my right hand. And so now, you can let go of my hand and stand up and walk out of the room, this white room, where we had the meta concept together. Walking out of the room, opening the door and closing the door and walking back down the corridor to where you first saw the door that led into the room. And having broken out of this meta concept, this synergetic meditative condition, you can slowly come back into the room and open your eyes. And if you have any water with you, please drink your water and slowly integrate back into this physicality. <laughs>